Hi there. We're going to be having a look today at both your ears and, if you're well behaved, we're going to be having a look at your eyes as well. Okay, so shall we get started? Okay, now what I'm going to do to begin with is I'm going to have a look at the general condition of your ears. Okay, have you had any issues with your ears over the last 12 months or so? No? No infections or any medical attention? Okay, good. Let's have a look. So if you turn your head just ever so slightly, so you're looking somewhere over there for me, and I'm just going to come in a little bit closer and just have a look at the outside of your ear. And just going to be running my fingers along the cartilage and the bony structure and around the tragus just to see if there's any breaks or lumps or bumps that we need to be concerned with. Okay, good. And if you can turn your head just so you're looking somewhere over there, and we're just going to have a look at, at this other side. And we're going to be doing exactly the same. I'm just going to be running my fingers along the ridges of cartilage just to see that everything is as it should be. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So, I'm going to take this little guy here. Now, this is called an otoscope and it enables me to have a look down the ear canal. So I'm going to be shining this in each of your ears. So if I get you to, again, just turn your head ever so slightly, and I'm just going to be coming in on this one side, and I'm just going to be shining this light. And I'm going to be having a look. the canal and work my way down to the inner canal. Okay, good. Let's just have a look at your other ears. So if I get you to just turn your head slightly so you're looking that way, I'm going to come in very, very close. And same thing, I'm going to be shining this light. And checking out the house canal first. And working my th way through the inner canal. Okay, you have enough wax to keep Madame to swords in business for the next year. So we need to loosen that up and we need to take that wax out. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. And we're going to be putting some drops in your ears 
just to loosen the wax up so it's easier to get out. So I'm going to be putting this little guy just a few drops in each here. Okay, so I tell you what, if you can kind of tilt your head like that for me. Your, your finger to your ear just so when um, you tilt your head to the other side it doesn't come running out. So there you go. Perfect. Okay, I'm just going to do exactly the same on the other side. If you put your finger up to your ear, just tilt your head again because I don't think we've got quite enough drops in that one side. So I'm just going to have a go. There you go. Perfect. Okay. That's good. So I'm just going to massage the, uh, the outside of your ears just to make sure that the drops coat all of the inside of your ears. This is slightly for me, and just make sure that's good and massaged in. Perfect. All right, that's fine. Good. So, I'm going to give that just a few seconds uh, just to start working. And in the meantime, there are microscopic little hairs that the, um, that the wax clings to um, on the outer, the outer ear canal. So I'm going to take this little guy here and I'm going to see if I can remove some of those hairs. You won't feel a thing, don't worry. So, um, look over that for me, and I'm going to come in very, 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 very close. And I'm going to be just taking this and seeing if I can't tweeze some of those hairs. And 
is perfect. No, Kido, good if I get you to look over there for me. You're way ahead of me. Good. And we're going to do the same in the other side. That's fine. Okay, now I'm going to brush uh, those hairs away. So, here you go. If you can just kind of tilt your head a little bit. I'm just going to come in on this one side. I'm going to brush that away. If you lift your chin up just a tad, that's perfect. Good. And we're going to do the same on the other side. I'm just going to brush that away for you. I'm going to come in a little bit closer if that's okay with you. You're doing very, very well. you have there, so this might be a little bit strange for you. You can turn your head a little bit. Uh, there you go. We'll see if we can get the last remnants of hair from this one side. Good. Okay, so the drops should have done their bit by now. They should have uh, softened the wax a little bit, but what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this Q-tip and I'm just going to uh, clean the outside of your, your, uh, your ears. So if I get you again to look straight ahead for me, and I'm just going to be taking this and I'm going to be... Let's give him a little bit of a clean. Okay. Tell me if there's any pain or discomfort when I'm doing this, okay? Okay, good. Alright. So, there you go. Keep looking just in that one direction. Same on the other side, so if you look somewhere over there for me, I'm going to come in very, 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 very close, just so I can see what is up. Oops. <laughs> I'm a 
few tips broken. Let's try again. Okay. Fresh Q-tip. So, there you go. Keep looking over there for me, please. should have done their business uh, and the wax should be good to to clean out so it's going to take this cloth here I'm just gonna wipe down the outside of your ears so if you can look somewhere over there for me please that is perfect 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 okay good doing very well. Okay, good. And the other side, if you can look somewhere over there for me, please. You're way ahead of the game. Again, massage both ears. So, if you lower your head down just a little bit, I'm just going to come in either side. I'm just going to be giving that a good rub from side to side, on either side, I should say just to make sure that the drops are well and truly getting to all the way. take this scary looking oops tool and I'm going to be picking away at the wax which should be nice and soft now so it should come out very very easily so um, we'll start with this side so I'm going to come in very very close and I'm just going to be popping this inside of your ear
That's fine. And the other side. So, there you go. You know what to do. Just turn you out a little bit for me. That's fine. Good. So, there you go. Sorry, I've got to come in so close. Perfect, 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 perfect. Let me just see my handiwork. So. Here you go. So if you turn your head slightly, I'm going to come in on this side. I'm just going to have a look, see. Wow, I can see right out of the other side of your head, right to the other side of the room. I'm totally good. as a bell. So let's have a look at the other side and see how well I've done. Okay, good. Yep. That, my friend, is as clear as can be. So we're going to move on now to your eyes. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you a few lights. So what shall we start off with now? If I get you to... If I get you to... Look at the two lights here. Now this tells me um, uh, your peripheries, your field of view. Now what I want you to do is to tell me to point with your finger uh, which light is on. Okay, so the trick is though, you need to keep looking at the bridge of my nose just here. Okay, all right, good. So, head still. There you go. And if you look at the bridge of my nose and tell me which light comes on. Mm hmm, good. Mm hmm. Okay. Perfect. Okay, perfect, good. Now, you're going to need to follow my instruction with this one, okay? So, uh, I'm going to show you this slide here. Now, I want you to look at my finger, okay? Keep looking at my finger, and now switch your focus to where the light is, okay? And when I say finger, light, you switch your focus to the appropriate uh, thing. <laughs> so, finger, switch focus to the light. Finger, light. Finger, light. 
finger. Light. Finger. Light. Finger. Light. Finger. That's great, good. So this next test, again, I'm going to need you to follow my instruction. Now, this one, again, you need to keep your head as still as you can. And just with your eyes, I'd like you to follow the light. Okay, don't move your head, just your eyes. Okay, good. Keep looking. The light. Perfect, 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 perfect. Keep looking at the light. Remember to keep your head still. Okay, that's good. Keep looking at the light for me. And follow it back in. Okay, good. Keep following the light. Mm -hmm. That's great. Good for you. All right. I'm going to do some shapes. So you tell me what shape. And now, what shape am I making with the light? Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. Now, what we're going to do next, we're going to try to find a light that works. We're going to check your pupil reflexes. So, um, you can choose any one of the lights on the the wall just behind me and if you can just focus on that I'm just gonna come a little bit closer and I'm just gonna shine this light on either side and we're just going to see whether your pupils constrict and dilate as they should You can put your hand like that, and I'm just going to swing this. <laughs> it's just died. Okay, let's try, let's try again. Just going to swing this light from side to side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can take your hand down now and I'm just going to double check your pupillary response. So I'm going to come in a little bit closer. Sorry. And direct consensual. 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 Okay, good. Okay, what else do we have here? Now, this one, again, I'm going to need you to follow my instructions. So, again, it's a switch focus kind of a test. And it just tells me how good your eyes are switching, are at switching focus. <laughs> so, let's get a, the appropriate light. Okay, so to begin with, I want 
you to keep looking for me at the tip of the pen, okay? Keep looking at the tip of the pen, it's going to start moving. Keep looking at the tip of the pen for me. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now, switch focus to the light. Instruction if you switch focus to the light. That's it. Try and keep your head still. Okay, good. And switch focus to the light. Mm -hmm. Switch focus to the pen. I'm just going to swap hands so you can keep looking at the pen. Good. And now again, if you can switch focus to the light for me, please. Yeah. You can look at the switch focus to the tip of the pen. Mm -hmm. And now back to the light. Excellent, good for you. Okay, let's just put this down over here. Now, we're going to be checking how well I believe the wax from your ears is going back to your ears. So, this guy here is tuning fork. Now, um, I want you to just plug up this, um, this ear on this side, and I want you to tell me when the when you can no longer hear the vibrations on the tuning fork the sound that the tuning fork makes okay so keep this one ear covered and about now that is perfect okay so if you can plug up the other ear for me just pop your finger and I'm going to do the same again, okay? Oops. Yeah. Perfect, about 10, 15 seconds on either side. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to have a look inside your eyes and I'm going to be using something called indirect ophthalmoscopy. Now, that entails me shining a very, very bright light in your eyes and holding up, let's just get that out of the way, holding up this little guy here, which is called a Volk lens. So this gives me an inverted image of the back of your eyes, I'm going to come in very, very close again. I'm just going to shine this light in your eyes just for a second. Okay, good. And if I get you to look up to the ceiling for me, please. Keep looking up. Keep looking up for me. straight 
into the mind. Perfect. Okay. Okay, we're going to do the same with the other eye. So, if I get you to look straight ahead for me, please, I'm just going to get this into place. And there you go. Keep looking straight ahead for me, please. Now, if you can look up to the ceiling, that's great, down to the floor, you can look to your left, and to your right, mm -hmm. yeah, and if you can look right into the light, That is perfect. Great. That's fine. So, you got nice, healthy eyes, nice, healthy ears. Now that I've cleaned all that, oops, now that I've cleaned them out. So, you, my friend, are good to go. All done and dusted. So, we will see you again in six months' time. Unless you have any problems between now and then, in which case, come back a bit quicker but it was a pleasure seeing you again and uh, we'll see you again next time